Doctors, what's your crazy medical school story? Had a nursing student who pocketed surgical instruments for shits and giggles. At the beginning and end of every surgery, the techs and nurses count to make sure that there are no missing sponges, sutures, equipment etc. Because if it's missing then it was either accidentally thrown away or accidentally left in the patient. Close bracket. When the case finished, they did the count and found that several instruments were missing. These are heavy, stainless steel instruments. So the first thing they did was check the trash by emptying three full trash cans filled with medical waste onto the floor. When the instruments didn't turn up there, they scanned the room. When that didn't work, they called for x-rays to see if they could find the instruments inside the patient. As we are all leaving the or to make room for the x-ray equipment and to avoid radiation, the instruments fall out of the students' pockets. To this day I can hear them hitting the floor and the deadly silence that followed. The student claimed that she was just checking to make sure that we all followed protocol in the event of missing equipment. Any repercussions? She was immediately suspended from clinical duties. We never saw her again. I'm willing to be that she was encouraged to quit nursing school, since something like that will follow you throughout your academic record and make it very difficult to get a job. I've told this story a few times. But this one guy walked into the air with a priapism. For those who don't know, a priapism is an erection that cannot subside on its own for several hours. It can be due to damage to the spinal cord, sickle cell anemia, cocaine, Viagra, etc. They need to be treated right away so as not to become necrotic from lack of oxygen. This guy had no risk factors, but for some reason just starting getting them. He had three in the past four weeks. So when he walked in he already knew the drill. The air doc I was working, I was a med student at the time, with at the time, had only ever drained one before. But he thought it would be good practice for me to treat this once in a lifetime medical condition. I'll never forget the look in that guy's eyes as I held his erect penis in one hand, and then immediately stuck a needle in it. Not a doctor yet, but I'm currently in medical school. During my first time working in the air. We saw a lady who was convinced she had worms in her stool. Convinced enough, in fact, that she came to the air armed with a stool sample, without being asked to do so, in one of her own mason jars. Upon proudly showing us, we could see thin little shards of something floating in the jar. So we sent her sample to be analyzed. Turns out, the worms were carrots. My dad was classmates with this awkward guy in med school. The dude was crazy smart, top of his class, highest MC80 scores smart, but he was super awkward and didn't know how to interact with people at all. He wasn't mean or anything, just kinda weird. During their ob slash gin rotation, they were working at a hospital located in a city fairly close to the Mexican border. This sounds offensive, and I'm aware of that. But that ward was where a lot of the pregnant women, mostly teenagers, coming into the US to have their kids ended up. According to my dad, they used to joke that they didn't know how to deliver babies in English. The point is that they performed the entire procedure in Spanish. Semicolon. It worked well most of the time. But there was one hiccup. The Spanish word for push sounds a lot like the word for whore. They are similar enough that a sheltered awkward person could accidentally start mispronouncing it without realizing semicolon so you would have these terrified teenage girls alone in a foreign country dealing with that thankfully someone noticed eventually and i genuinely believe that the guy was just oblivious and wasn't trying to be malicious my dad has a story that there was a guy at their medical school graduation party who had too much to drink fell out of a balcony and lived the rest of his days as a paraplegic on disability. His other story is apparently on the first day the prof gets out a jar of urine, dips his finger in it and licks it. Then he tells everyone in the class to do what he just did. So everyone had to drink urine. I'm assuming it was the prof's urine. Where else would he get urine? The prof then gives a lecture to be observant and that he didn't actually dip his finger in the urine. That's an old one. The professor's urine is usually actually apple juice. Not a doc, but a friend of the family once told us that he would hang in the morgue for a bit because it was hot at summer. RN here. Can confirm the times I've been to the morgue I've felt the least amount of stress at work.
carrot though I've totally considered dead body jobs prior to nursing. Not from me, but from my cousin, when he was doing his residency. It's late in the evening and this 40 something year old white male comes in with stomach problems and admits that he stuck something up his a backslash backslash hole. No he was not gay. He was a married man, not sure about kids. Hadn't been drinking or doing drugs. Was deemed pretty normal which stupefied the doctors, so they take an x-ray. Not quite believing this dude. X-ray comes back, and it was impressive. You ever see one of those big, sleek stainless steel water bottles? Dude had shoved one of those completely inside him and pretty deep, past his pelvis. They hospitalized him, and tried to see if he could get it out himself. There were some doubts, because of how far it went in. They worried that surgery would be pretty extensive. Few days later. It still isn't out, and he's in a massive amount of pain. They admit him for one of the trickiest and weirdest surgeries my cousin had ever observed. Trying to take this bottle out from his intestine, and it was lodged perfectly in the gap of his pelvis. I guess the guy recovered after that. But I know my cousin likes to relate this story every time we meet. The entire thing. It's a madhouse. My mom was one, so I'll tell you a great story. I have many so HMU for way way more. A dude stole the hospital's Christmas trees. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.